Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. It's time for Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. Thank you for joining me today on Faith to Live By. This is Sue Taylor. There is a saying that you can never go back to what once was. And if you do or try to, sometimes you will find it different, not the same as it was before. My youngest son and I found this to be true. Once when he flew back a few years ago for a visit, he wanted to take a drive to his old home place where he and his brothers grew up. But when we got there, we found the old two-story home gone. Only the cement slab left where it once stood. We both had mixed emotions as we recalled the memories and the life spent in that old Victorian home. The home was gone. Only the memories remain. There is a certain sense of loss when time and chance change things forever. The Bible instructs us that there is a time for everything. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up what has been planted. We can be assured that whatever time brings our way, God also tells us that he makes everything beautiful in his time, because he has set eternity in the hearts of men. Therefore, whatever comes or goes, beloved, God is forever the same. Psalms 102, 27 tells us, You are the same, and your years will have no end. God the Father, Jesus Christ, the Son, and the precious Holy Spirit never change. They are timeless. Before the mountains were brought forth or even had been formed, the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, He is God. He is the Lord. He does not change. Therefore, we are not consumed, the Bible tells us. Change does not have to consume us, worry us, or defeat us, because we place our trust in the one who is timeless and not swayed by change, because he, Jesus Christ, is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Many times we panic or we feel anxiety because of change. Change in relationships, finances, health are in our world. But this one person, Jesus Christ, and faith in him will help you through the changes because he changes not. And even though you may be experiencing pain or heartache or loss, this day, remember this, that every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Faith in Christ will not fail you. He cannot and will not change who he is. He is the Father of lights, meaning that he is the creator of the heavenly bodies, the sun, the moon, and the stars. But he is also the source of all spiritual light as well. And unlike the heavenly bodies he created that are undergoing constant change, he never does. His love and character remain the same, and his gifts are as good and perfect as himself. He is a timeless God, and you can trust him throughout your time here on earth. The change that we experience may seem unbearable or lonely at times, but if embraced with God in his mercy, The change will never consume us because he has promised us that no matter what comes our way, his compassions for us will never fail. It says he is also able to save to the uttermost those who come to God through Jesus Christ since he ever lives to make intercession for you. What a comforting thought to know Jesus is praying for you this moment in time. I want to encourage you this morning that if all seems to be changing around you, there is hope. 
There is a God who does not change and is always waiting to help you in your change. Cry out to him for direction and spiritual light in your situation. He has promised to never leave you nor forsake you. Put your trust in a timeless God, the rock of all ages. Let change become food for your spiritual progress in your soul as you trust in the one who does not change. He is the rock that never moves nor rolls. His Holy Spirit is the life-giving force for you this morning. Let His Word be the lamp to your feet and the light for your path. You see, I can encourage you with confidence to not lose heart while experiencing change. Because I have proved this living God. The rest of the story, as Paul Harvey used to say, is that my son and I, when we went back to our old home place where we lived 30 plus years ago, we had left that place under sad circumstances and change beyond our control, which it was not our choosing in the natural. But God, in His timeless love and care, He led us and He guided us. He strengthened us, He established us, and He settled us. He is no respecter of persons, this unchanging God. And what He did for us 30 plus years ago and has kept doing for us day by day, year by year, He will also do for you, beloved. Embrace the never-changing God today in your situation. And as you do, I promise you, you will find that you have the faith you need to live by. You've been listening to Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. If you would like to write with your comments or to request a copy of this program for an $8 donation, write Sue Taylor. 10827 Highway 86 East, Neosho, Missouri, 64850. Sue Taylor is a member of the KNEO team and a keynote speaker at several church and women's events throughout the four-state area. To book Sue for your next event, contact Sky High Radio at 417-451-5636.